good morning to you all students so hi students how are you i hope you all are fine by god's grace you all are fine so first take your textbooks in your hand so please sit in your system in front of your system or take mobile phones in your hand so so have you all studied the till yesterday portions so what are the important uh, two important five more questions i taught yesterday what are the questions you have studied types of generations of computer so in types of generations of computer uh, so what i have explained the year is what somewhat variation come back to your book so no problem what they have mentioned in your book please study that no problem okay so uh, what year they have mentioned in your book you study that so next functional components of a computer so two important five mark questions you have studied then what are the important two mark questions studied data and information then um, in a uh, functional components of a computer arithmetic logic unit input unit control unit likewise lot of questions you have studied so in last class we have discussed about input devices isn't it or not input device so what are the input what's the uh, meaning of input devices so so what's the uh, title of your first chapter introduction to computers so today also we are going to study about some input device and output devices okay so what are the input devices yesterday you have studied keyboard mouse scanner fingerprint scanner then trackball retinal scanner light pen optical character reader barcode and qr code reader isn't it are you remembering so please study each and everything okay so today we are going to study about one of the input device voice input system okay first see this diagram this is the uh, the diagram for particular my headphone or microphone okay so what do you mean by voice input system name itself they are giving voice input so which signal we are giving as an input which signal we are giving as an input voice okay so for voice which device you are using so already you know which device you are using for recording voice microphone okay so which device is used to for to uh, give the voice input system which device microphone sometimes for one word question they will ask which device serves as a voice input which one microphone okay how this microphone working means first it will captures our voice as a data okay so have you seen this diagram so uh, i uh, i think all of you have seen this microphone isn't it so most of the uh, in a tv reality shows if you see means each and every person will hold this microphone in your, in their ears isn't it or not yes for what so the for first what how it will work means so it will capture the voice as a data so whatever you are speaking that voice it will take as a input so that voice it will take as a input okay so particular input that voice signal it will send to the computer for what processing understand so what it will do so in front of your mouth they are given one mic so through this mic your voice is captured then that voice is, that voice signal is converted and capture that voice and send the information to him computer okay so from computer you can able to hear the particular voice so how it is possible to hear that particular audio or voice how means in the computer you need to install speech recognition software using which software uh, they will uh, detect that particular audio or sound speech recognition software okay so using this microphone along with this software so you can able to get the particular information or you can able to feed the particular information into the computer understand so what are the things you have studied in this voice input system three points what are they which device serves as a input for this one microphone this is a picture of that one so this uh, in this picture microphone which will uh, uh, present at the front mic okay then you need to hold particular device on your ear means what it will capture this a uh, mic first of all you need to speak in front of this mic so this mic if you are speaking means it will captures the particular your voice as a data and that data is sent to whom computer so now from computer you need to recognize the particular voice so using this microphone along with which software the speech recognition software you are using to get the particular information to the computer understand yes so next one is digital camera this already you have seen each and every places now you are seeing cctv cameras isn't it or not yes same only this digital camera okay so it will capture which is the input so microphone it will take voice as a input likewise 
this digital camera takes which sources and input which source either images or videos isn't it or not so this digital camera takes which sources and input either images or videos then it will feed that particular information to the whom computer so like in a voice input system it will get this input as a voice then voice signal is converted to what particular voice signal is feed into the computer through speech recognition software likewise in digital camera so the particular images or videos it will capture and it will converted in which form digital form okay so first class itself i said in computer what are the inputs you are giving so computer it will take the input and process by means of which form binary form or digital form what's the meaning of that one digits what is that one ones or zeros are you remembering that one are you remembering that one ones and zeros that is the binary form or digital form likewise this digital camera captures particular images or videos and it will convert in the form of which form digital form digital form is nothing but digits okay yes so here how it will capture the image so in front of this camera you have seen lens okay so inside the camera one chip will be there the what's the chip means ccd that means chargeable coupled device what's the name of that device so cctv uh, simply will tell no cctv camera like we see uses which device chargeable coupled cctv device use uh, using this chip how it will work means so if you are taking photographs or if you are taking that uh, video through that camera means the when the light falls on the chip through lens so in front of the camera uh, which is, uh, device is present lens so when the light falls on the device through the lens mean so immediately this chip will convert that light rays into digital format understand so if you are taking photo or images through that particular digital camera means so immediately if the light you might have seen so in digital cameras uh, uh, some light sources there isn't it there if they are taking photograph some light or flash will come so immediately if the flash will come means that when the light rays falls on the chip that means ccd chargeable coupled device electronic chip present inside this camera when the light falls on the chip it will convert particular input who which input maybe it will image or videos in the uh, converted that uh, input source into a digital form then you can feed the digital form into the computer understand this is a next a second input device okay so next thing is touch screen so this you are already familiar see this diagram this is the touch screen diagram okay so this is which device so microphone is a voice input device then camera is a capturing which device capturing image or videos that touch screen is a display device okay so a touch screen is a which device display device okay what's the use of this touch screen so it will allow the user to interact with computer or mobile phone using uh, which using which part you are using this touch screen your finger finger is a major part of using this touch screen isn't it what so touch screen is a which device display device so you are using or you are going to interact with maybe in mobile phone or computer or laptop or anything using which one finger okay so touch screen is a display device it will allow the user to interact with the computer using your finger okay so why we are using this touch screens so mainly you are using for security purpose okay this touch screens are using for what security purpose for uh, for example most of the films you, have, you might have seen uh, some first persons are entering into the office or some persons are entering into this uh, uh, important lockers are so in front of the lockers they will give uh, you might have seen this kind of on screen so in that screen they have given some password for what so if uh, some password means that password only that particular authorized person can able to open whether other person for example in your mobile phone most of the mobile phones you are using part, uh, passwords isn't it for what purpose security only you can able to use your device only you can able to view the information stored in the uh, your phone so whether the third party can able to open without knowing your password no so that is also an example for touch screen so in a film sandal also in front of the lockers they are given this like a touch screen they have enter their pass username and password they, then it will open okay mainly security purpose also they are using this touch screen okay so in systems so yeah, instead of using mouse keyboard so instead of using this devices you can use this touch screen 
okay so uh, nowadays you are using you have you have seen uh, the computers laptops everything in uh, computers and laptops uh, however you are in way, which way you are giving input either by using keyboard or mouse isn't it so if the laptop is working with a touch screen mode means whether uh, this uh, keyboard and mouse needed no so in this system itself touch uh, like with your mobile phone you can use touch is using this touch screen you can use your device your laptop okay so touch screen is a, that's a third point so nowadays touch screens is where various kinds of devices are coming with this touch screens what are the devices they are giving example computer laptop monitor smartphones tablets everything so nowadays your phones are also working based on which one touch screens understand yes so what's the third input device you are studying touch screen what so touch screen is a which device display device okay what's the use of this touch screen it will allow you to interact with either computer or mobile phone or tablet using which part you are using this touch screen your finger okay so for what purpose you are using security purpose so this is one of the alternate way to use a mouse or keyboard instead of using mouse or keyboard you can use what this touch screen that the for that only they are giving graphical user interface that means nothing but interacting so how you are interacting with the systems using keyboard and mouse so without this keyboard and mouse you can interact this using this touch screen with the system understand yes so nowadays lot of devices are using this touch screen so what are the devices some examples they have given computer laptop monitor smartphone tablet etc understand yes so see next input device is a key ear okay so have you seen this device i also not have seen uh, this device but uh, you have you might have seen in a diagram please see this diagram this is the diagram for key ear okay hmm. yes okay is it visible key ear okay so key ear is similar to the keyboard okay what's the use of keyboard you are giving some inputs or typing some characters or typing some numbers or anything characters or everything using keyboard likewise same purpose only instead of your like say you are uh, instead of using keyboard they are used key ear so word itself coming key ear okay what's the difference means you need to give the input by using key ear device signaling by hand just like you just you need to press the particular switches present on it see see this diagram so this key ear is uh, kept in, inside the hand isn't it anand the key ear is uh, kept inside the hand so have you seen it some white color buttons are there yes that is a key ear okay so if you need to communicate or if you need to give input means you need to press this keys present inside it okay so here when compared to keyboard here uh, this key ear has only less number of keys but keyboard has lot of keys are there what are the character keys number then symbols function keys lot of enter shift like this lot of keys are there so but in key uh, key here only less number of uh, but here we are selling instead of keys we are telling switches okay instead of saying the word key here you are telling the word which is a switches okay so size also small compared to the keyboard so here in this key here the number present between 4 and 50 so how many numbers are there in key here four uh, numbers present between this is one of the important one word question okay so in key here the numbers is present between 4 and 50 so in keyboard under the keyboard you have seen some boards are there but in key here there is no board like structure but the keys are arranged in a cluster format what do you mean by cluster so grapes is a fruit looks like a cluster understand what i mean by cluster grapes is a fruit looks like cluster likewise this key here also this switches are looks in a cluster that means are like a bunch understand so what's the next input device you have studied key here what's the use of this uh, key here key here is a device you are going to give signal by pressing switches on this key here so similar to a keyboard this also contain instead of keys you are telling switches okay so okay, in keyboard lot of keys are there but in key here only less number of keys are there so in key here the mm, keys only let the numbers are between 4 and 50 okay how many numbers are present in between key here 4 and 50 okay so in key keyboard the board will be there but in this one key here there is no board instead of uh, this board the keys are present in a cluster understand yes 
so till now uh, so, so till this input device get over understand so now next we are going to study about output devices so before we are going to study about output device just once you recall what are the input devices you have studied okay what's the first input device you have studied keyboard what's the use of keyboard you need to give input by typing some characters or symbols or anything using keyboard next one is mouse what's the um, use of mouse you are you can able to click or you need to array the you can able to calculate the uh, motion and acceleration of this pointer on the screen so in mouse you have studied three types of mouse what are they optical mouse mechanical mouse and laser mouse then what's the next input device you have studied scanner what's the use of scanner you can able to scan the particular paper or particular data now you need to keep inside the scanner you can scan and get the information feed the into the computer you can able to take print out what's the next thing fingerprint scanner in scanner you have studied fingerprint scanner what's the use of fingerprint scanner mainly it is used to give uh, for security purpose and also biometric attendance purpose they are using then trackball trackball is similar to what similar to a mouse but instead of what's the difference between trackball and mouse mouse we can able to the that device the entire mouse you can able to move here and there and you can able to work but trackball you are keeping this particular um, the trackball that device as a stationary only present the ball present inside the trackball you are moving the just a ball spins based on that movement the cursor also move what's the next input device you have studied retinal scanner what's the use of retinal scanner it will scan particular blood vessels present inside the eye you can able to detect this you are the particular person that one next one light pen what's the use of light pen so you can able to draw pictures or write something on the screen isn't it yes next thing is optical character reader what's the use of that one you can able to take so scan particular character or particular paragraph or particular sentence from the paper using the optical character reader what's the next input device you have studied barcode reader or qr what's the use of barcode reader it will read the particular barcodes or the information present in the barcode qr reader means particular it will scan the particular qr code and get the information then today you have studied voice input system using microphone then what's the next thing you have studied camera digital camera it will capture images and input then touch screen and key understand so from this uh, the input devices they will ask for you maybe they will ask for any one heading as a two mark or three mark something they will ask for you can expect five mark questions also from this five mark questions they ask means you can write any five headings simply if they ask explain any five input devices means you can ask for your wish so it's a very very easy only if you are just read means also you can able to understand you can write any five uh, as per your wish you write any five headings and explain that one okay and uh, sometimes if they ask for a specific heading if they are say uh, explain here like explain microphone that means you need to write and explain that understand okay so next we are going to study about output devices okay yes what's the difference between input devices and output devices so this input and output only one best example i said in the first class so now we are i am teaching for you so <coughs> that is input or output input so what do you mean by processing you are studying the particular things what i am teaching that is processing what is output so i am expecting better results or better things from you that's the output understand so till now i have uh, we are given some input to this computer or mobile phone or anything now we are getting output from particular devices okay that is called as output device okay yes what are the common output devices you have seen in computer monitor is the one best output device okay so first output device is a, we are going to study first output device is a monitor understand which device we are going to study monitor okay so monitor is a commonly used output device what's the use of monitor monitor means nothing but what i am uh, displaying you know this is a monitor okay this is a lab monitor so monitor what's the use of monitor to display what are the informations that information you need to display using this monitor okay so like if a tv is a looks like sorry a monitor this looks like a tv in olden days if you are uh, see means uh, this computer and all look like big uh, like this uh, olden days tv the uh, computer also look like that uh, similar to a tv okay so how the pictures are coming inside this monitor how the pictures are displaying in the monitor so this pictures or images displayed in the monitor using one ele element called pixels 
okay so this pictures or uh, images or videos are uh, formed in the monitor using one element called what pixels important one more question so while i am teaching itself i am saying important one more two more please so what i am whatever i am telling please mark it in your textbook and study okay so pictures on the monitor are formed using element called which one pixels okay so this monitors we are telling as a monochrome what do you mean by monochrome means so in the monitors you can able to see black and white screen as a, uh, images as well as color images also olden days uh, have you seen which tvs are whether color tvs are available olden days i am telling no only black and white tvs are available likewise so monitors also monitors may either be monochrome that means it will display the text or images may be in black and white format or may be in color format comma color format means multiple colors it will display understand yes in monitors there are many kinds of monitors are there this also important two mark questions okay so how many types of monitors are available one there are three kinds of monitors are there what are they means crt crt means old and days whatever we are used for computer that is crt monitor it similar it looks similar to a old and days tv okay crt means cathode ray tube monitor what what do you mean by crt cathode ray tube monitor then lcd monitor lcd means liquid crystal display monitor next one is led so nowadays tvs are also what which tv led tvs is indeed yes light emitting diodes so this monitors and all work using bga what do you mean by bga means video graphics array card wow, which card video graphics array card okay so what's the use of this video graphics uh, array card mean so if uh, if you are typing some information through this keyboard to communicate or mouse to communicate to the computer okay so the using this card only it acts as a interface between that keyboard and the monitor what's the use of this video card it it is the intermediate person or it will acts interface between the keyboard or mouse or in between that uh, the devices and the monitor okay so nowadays it is built inside this motherboard nowadays already it is built inside the motherboard in in inside the cp understand so what output device you are study today what's the first output device you are study monitor what's the uh, use of monitor it will it is a display device used to display information on the screen what are the information you are giving but that information it will display on the screen so this monitor is uh, look similar to a uh, tv so pictures on the monitor are formed using what i said one important unit so this pictures or images or videos are formed on the monitor using one unit element called which one pixel so next point is monitors may be monochrome what's the meaning of monochrome it can able to display the images either in black and white or colors colors means multiple colors okay there are many types of monitors are there here they are giving three types of monitors what are they important three mark question or two mark question okay crt crt means cathode ray tube monitor next one is lcd lcd means liquid crystal display next one is led light emitting diodes so all this uh, monitors are work using which one bga card which card bga card bga card means video graphics array card okay what's the use of this card means so if this card acts as the intermediate person between keyboard or mouse or the input devices to this monitor okay yes so this is the picture of the monitor this already you have seen in our schools also lab lot of monitors are there okay so first monitor was device where means serax also important one more question so first computer monitor as device by whom means serax alto computer system okay so who also released the first this kind of monitors serax alto computer system in which year means march 1st 1973 okay so in which year means march 1 1973 so this first computer monitor is the uh, released by whom serax alto computer systems in the year march 1 1973 understand yes next one is the plotter this is also important two mark question sometimes they will ask for three mark also okay so what's the next uh, output device plotter okay so what's the use of this see this image this is the image of for plotter okay what's the use of this plotter means this device is used to produce graphical output on papers what do you mean by graphical output means so nothing but best example i am saying banners say so, uh, film ban uh, banners or cinema banners have you seen no so maximum the banners are printed you take print out using which one plotter or flex printing that's also an example for plotter 
okay what's the use of plotter it will produce graphical so what are the things you are designed in the computer as a graphical you can take the print out by using which one plotter understand so most of this banners flex everything were taken by using which one plotters okay the plotters uses maybe it will use single color or multi color pens to draw pictures okay inside it will contain single color maybe it will contain single color or multiple colors to draw the particular things understand what is the second or pretty basic study plotter so print this is very very important five more question two or three times they asked last year they asked for quarterly uh, off early and uh, some uh, uh, mid term exam something i think it's so okay so this is very very important question printers so listen okay what's the use of printer already you seen you know all you know about printer isn't it what's the use of printer printer is used to print information on the papers maybe question paper or anything what are the, what the images or anything what the thing you need to take print out you need to print the particular information on the papers using which device printers understand what's the use of printers printers are used to print particular information on the paper so printers are divided into two kind there are two kinds of printers they are dividing the printers in a two categories what are they means impact printers and non impact printers okay how many types of printers are there impact printers and non impact printers okay yes so if they ask for this five mark question means first you need to put the heading as a heading printers then you need to write this definition what's the use of printer then types uh, printers are divided into how many types two what are the impact and non impact understand yes this is the picture of impact printer okay or oh, see this this is a picture of this one impact printer okay so first we are going to discuss about impact printers so what's the use of impact printers okay so impact printers inside this impact printers the hammers just like a hammers or pins are present inside this impact what's the thing is present inside impact printers hammer or pin so this hammers or pins are rotator or connected through ribbon okay so this hammers or pins are uh, rotated or connected through which one ribbon okay so if they are giving print so at that time using that mechanic if you are giving print no at that time using that uh, mechanical pressure due to that mechanical pressure it will strike the particular hammers or prints present inside the printer then the rib ribbon remains roll used to roll then particular things it will print on the paper understand how it will work so inside this impact printers particular hammers or print uh, pins are present inside so this two are <coughs> connected or rotated through what a ribbon okay so when you are giving print due to that mechanical printer it will strike the particular hammers or pins then the ribbon is used to rotate you can able to get the print out in the paper okay and so in impact printers there are two kinds of impact printer for examples they have given two printers what are they means dot matrix printers and line matrix printers <clears throat> so impact printers um, uh, how many examples they have given two what are they dot matrix printers and line matrix printers understand first we have discuss about printers then two types what are the impact and non impact so this is the impact printer two examples we are going to study what are they dot matrix and line matrix understand yes first thing is dot matrix printer okay so name itself having dot matrix so first it will produce the output by using dot okay so here it will print using fixed number of pins or wires we are telling that fixed uh, dots i tell no so here the printer prints using how many it will contain this dot matrix printer contain contain fixed number pins or wires what's the first point dot matrix printer contain so inside the dot matrix printer contain all fixed number of that means uh, five means five six means uh, that means fixed fixed number of pins or wires present inside which printer this dot matrix printer okay so each dot it will if they start to print means each dot is produced by using a metal rod okay so each dot i said now how it will work mean for example if you are giving um, print so inside this printer an electromagnet is there okay in physics you have studied i think it's electromagnet or solenoid something okay so this electromagnet or solenoid are connected by means of small levers okay dot matrix printer so what's the working inside what are the things it will present first thing inside how fix only fixed number of pins or wires are there next so inside dot matrix printer so electromagnet or solenoid is there 
okay this electromagnet or solenoid is connected through by means of small levers levers means nothing but have you seen in a well we are using lever to pull water likewise this inside this printer a small solenoid or electromagnet is there it is connected using by means of small levers okay so while you are giving print out so it will produce a tiny using that tiny metal dot it will provide each dot dot as a print okay so if you are giving print so it will produce uh, like a tiny dot using which one metal rod that tiny dot only we are calling as an what wire or pin understand so what do you mean by wire or pin so using when you are giving print out so inside what are the things it will do electromagnet or solenoid will work then this will work using levers using that it will print let's say each dot using the metal rod that one we are calling as an wire or pin sometimes they will ask for one more question so in dot matrix printer which printer dot is produced by tiny metal rod which one dot matrix printer maybe in next one more question they will ask each dot is produced by a tiny metal rod called dash wire or pin understand now itself you mark uh, each dot is produced by a tiny metal rod called what wire or pin okay next point in dot matrix printer it can able to print one line of a text at a time at a time how many lines it will print only one line okay so the printing speed we can tell the printing speed varies from 30 to 1550 character per second cps means character per second understand what do you mean by cps character per second okay yes listen so the printing speed of dot matrix printers varies from what 30 to 1550 character per second understand so in dot matrix printer what are things you got discussed so it will contain fixed number of pins or wires so here each dot is produced by means of a what tiny metal dot called pins or wires inside what uh, devices are present electromagnet or solenoid it will this electromagnet or solenoid connected through using small levers so it always used to print generally one line at a time what's the printing speed varies from 30 to 1000 one more question they've lost what's the printing speed of dot matrix printer 30 to 1150 character per cps means character per second understand yes now what's the next impact printer line matrix printers okay line matrix printer so here there uh, in uh, dot matrix printer we said fix a number of wire or pins likewise line matrix printer use a fixer print head for printing so what's the thing it is present inside here fix uh, fixer head head for printing okay this also this is also a kind of dot matrix printer but it this also print using line of dots okay the the line matrix printer also used to print the characters in the form of a what dots okay the that only they are, they are explaining next line it will print a line of text by printing lines of dots each line it will print by means of a dots okay so here so here more than thousand lines per minute it can print but in a dot matrix printer you have studied only one line uh, at a time or only one line only can able to print but here so the printing speed is thousand lines per minute it can able to print which printer so that's the difference between <coughs> dot matrix and line matrix line matrix printers can print able to thousand lines per minute so thousand pages per hour okay how much it can print thousand lines per minute it can print and thousand pages per hour it can able to print understand so what's our other things here fixer print head is there there fixer number of wires there here also you can able to print the line by use mean, means of dots there are also dots there uh, sometimes they will ask for differentiate between dot matrix and line matrix what you will write first point they are fixer number of wires or pins here fixer print head for printing so what is the second point you will write there are also print by use means of dots or uh, uh, tiny dots called what pins or wires here it will page line means of dots there you they can print at a time they can print only one one line at a time but here thousand lines per minute pen and also it can be able to print thousand pages per hour understand yeah so uh, impact printers you have studied two types what are they dot matrix printer and line matrix printer <coughs> next thing you are going to study about non-impact printers okay what's the second type of printers non-impact printers so this impact printers not using striking mechanism 
first i said so impact printers i said so inside the impact printers what the thing it is presenting hammer hammer or pins this is connected by using ribbon or rotated using ribbon this hammer strike using this mechanical pressure due to this mechanical pressure hammer is strike means the particular characters will print isn't it so but in non impact printer there is no striking mechanism okay so instead of that striking mechanism here they are using which technology means electrostatic or laser technology understand so instead of this striking mechanism non impact printer using which technology electrostatic or laser technology understand so the quality and speed is compared to that non impact printer this non impact printer is better which printer is better no, compared to uh, impact printer non impact printers okay so quality and speed of uh, non impact printers is better than that impact okay here what are how many examples mean here also they have given two examples for non impact printers what are they means laser printer and inkjet printer what's the example for uh, impact printers dot matrix and line matrix here what's the example for non impact laser printer and inkjet printers understand yes so this is the a uh, example this is a first example laser printer okay so this uh, this printer you might have seen in our office also this printer is there okay normally now we are using no same as same only laser printer okay. so here what's the use of this uh, laser printer no, sorry uh, yes laser printer mostly works for to taking what photo or photocopies are printed that means xerox or what printing what's the use of this uh, laser printer laser printer is used to take photocopies so uh, photocopies nothing but xerox copies are printed out okay so how it will uh, work means how this laser printer is work means so inside the laser printer you can remember just like a rod or drum is present inside this printer okay so inside this printer what is a present just like a rod or drum is there so if you if you need to uh, place the particular paper mean first it will scan using that laser light and also laser beam is there okay first it will scan using this laser scheme then it will get the information and take printer okay so what are the things present inside so a drum is present inside this printer so using this laser beam it will scan the particular paper and it will take printer understand so for using this printer you can able to get good quality of graphic image okay so using which printer you can get good quality of image laser printers okay so one of the important characteristics of the printer resolution resolution means that uh, uh, in image i said no pixel likewise in printer the resolution is dots per inch dpi what's the resolution of image i said small element images are made up of small element called pixels likewise in printer we are telling the resolution in dots per inch dpi okay what's the resolution range means 1200 dpi what's the resolution of laser printer 1000 dp sorry 1200 dpi so it can print 100 pages per minute okay what's the speed capacity or what's the speed of this laser printer at a time that means at a per minute it can able to print 100 pages understand so what are the things you have studied in laser printer this is the diagram for laser printer okay what are the things you have studied so it will works uh, to take what photocopies are print out so how it will work it will in the rod or beam is present is a laser beam is present inside this printer if you kept the paper means first it will scan then it will give uh, print out as a you can able to get good quality of images get a print out and as important characteristic means dots per inch that means resolution so what's the resolution of this one 1200 dpi approximately able to print how many pages per minute can able to print 100 pages next thing is what's the next thing of this impact printers what's the next example for non impact printers inkjet printer okay name itself have ink jet so what is present ink is present inside this one okay so this ink jet printer is using color cartridge edges okay what do you mean by color cartridge edges means see this one this is called as color cartridge that means various kinds of color ink in colors ink are present inside this cartridge okay so what are the color color combination means magenta yellow and cyan in button one more question what's the color cartridge is present inside inkjet printer what's the color combination magenta yellow and cyan inks so see this diagram then only you can understand so three kinds of color inks are present inside color tones are present inside which printer inkjet printer so black ink also there you can using black cartridge you can get monochrome output what do you mean by monochrome black and white already said no 
in LED monitors, black and white you can say likewise. In printer also, monochrome means a black cartridge if you get means what you will get? Black, that means uh, in a normal, what are the things you have seen in paper, no? Your book, textbook. In white paper, uh, black printout is there. Using this color cartridge, you can able to get multiple colors. Okay. How it is print mean? Inkjet printers. Inkjet printers mean the color inks or if you are giving print out using uh, by means of heat, the some heat will produce inside the printer. By means of heat, the ink is sprayed in the particular pa paper by means of jet speed. So only they are called as inkjet. That means like a jet speed, the ink is sprayed on the particular paper. The ink is formed by means of bubbles and it is sprayed with the paper. The, that's why they are calling as inkjet paper. Okay, sorry, inkjet printer. So, here what's the speed means? So, the speed of inkjet print range from 1 to 20 ppm. That means 1 to 20 page per minute. Per minute, how many pages it can print in color? 1 to 20. But in there, 100 pages they can able to print in laser printer. But here, 1 to 20. Understand? Very, very important question. So, what are the things you have studied in this in a printer? Printer two kinds. What are they? Impact printers and non-impact printers. So, what are the kinds of impact printers you have studied? Line matrix and dot matrix. Then impact printers, what are things you have studied? Inkjet printer and laser printer. Okay. So, next output device is speaker. Okay. So, speaker means already you have seen uh, this kind of uh, speakers. In computers also you can see in our school also there. By uh, what's the use of speaker? You can able to hear voice or audio as a output. Okay, so this speaker, how it will get this out, uh, how you can able to hear the voice using the speaker means speech synthesis software. By using which software you are getting output as an audio? Speech synthesis software. Okay, so this speaker, what's the main use means in common places, in airlines, banks and uh, railway stations, um, they will give announcement using which one? Speaker, isn't it or not? So that's the use of the speaker. This is one of the output device. Okay. Next output device is multimedia projectors. Have you seen this projectors? Everyone is familiar by seeing this projector. Okay, isn't it or not? So our school also having the smart board is connected with projectors. And what's the use of this projector? So you can be able to screen what are the things you have typed in the computer. You can be able to see in the big screen. So mainly they are using mainly they are using for in companies or anything they are using for our meetings, meetings or halls in um, meeting halls or classrooms so everything. So whatever things they have, they need to display on the screen, they are using multimedia projector. Okay. So one more topic is left in this chapter, booting. That I will continue in next class. So what are the things you have studied? Just recall input device and output device. Output and input device already I have discussed. Output device, what are the output devices you have studied today? Printer, plotter, important two mark question. Printer, very, very important, five mark question. So what are they? Two kinds, impact and non-impact. Next output device is speaker as well as projector. So, immediately after completion of this session, please take your textbook, just read it, study, write it and see what are the things, what are the important questions I said, please study well. Then only you can able to score good mark. Thank you students.